Okay. Only lightweight. Because if you go heavyweight, he will get worse. Yeah? But with lightweight, he will exercise the ligament, he will make it stronger, and he will make the right movement as well. Why shouldn't he do like this? Why should he do like this? What do when you are a weightlifter? When you are a weightlifter, why do you why do they lift like this? You see that they lift like this? They don't do like this. Because this is the normal direction. This is open for the hip. You don't do any twisting in the knees. You have the tibial tuberosity right over the ankle when you bend down here. So you have the purest direction of the quadriceps. That's why we do it like this. Okay? Now you know how to treat him. So it's just to treat him. It's okay? I'm finished. I'm finished. You can keep that on for two or three days. If it stays there. Otherwise, just take it off. If it starts itching or getting irritated, you should take it off. Yeah. Oh. So, you see, what I want to do is that the So, you see, the treatment is not difficult. It is to do the diagnose that is the difficult part, isn't it? In this case, it is very easy. How many times a week does he train? Uh, uh, four. Four, four four times a week so he's quite he should, sort of professional mm -hmm. yeah he should uh, he should uh, half his training of jumping mm -hmm. half half his training of jumping that doesn't mean that he cannot train it only means that he shouldn't jump do technical stuff and do the weight exercise. He can do the weight exercise and the extension exercises that he can do in the gym. He can do upper body, he can do everything. He shouldn't jump too much. Az izom erőfejlesztő gyakorlatokat csinálhatja, a gymbe is gyűrhat, mindent csinálhat, az ugrás részét kéne redukálni a felére. Also, also, he should do one other thing here. That is, when he is playing, when he is playing technical playing here, then change positions as often as possible. Because in volleyball you often stand deep, you know. Receiving position, you stand deep like this. So, every single time when the ball is not played, he has to get straight. Tehát amikor nincs játék közben, akkor nagyon sokat oda kell figyelni, aki ne ezt kialakul, hogy a pozíciót változtasson, hogy csak ki a térdész, recsény, tehát hogy ne állandóan ne a fogadó Don't stand for too long, go down, so hát, amennyire, if you, amennyire lehet persze. If you have received, if you have received, amikor go up again here, and then the ball is hit, go down again here, up again here. But many people stand down here, they move in this direction, they move <laughs> like this, you know, yeah, and that is putting a lot of stress on the foot there, and we don't know, that, we don't want that. That as gyakorolja, that as as provokálja a legtöbb panaszt, illetve azt tartja fönt, hogy hálandóan ebben a mély üdvésszerű helyzetben nem megfelelőbb elállapot elával mozog. Technical scene, in a technical side, you move faster when you're upright than you do in the down position. So if you have to move, it is you have better weight movement in this way, but if you have to move, you move faster this way and go down again, you know. Okay, uh, I have some parameters here, which uh, you have already. I send them. You have, so you can get this. This is how you treat the different. This is a guideline. Ez csak egy ilyen egy preferált táblázat, ami azt mutatja, uh, hogy hogy melyik területekre körülbelül milyen energiákat, milyen uh, milyen impulzus számot javasol. Hány session, hogy itt azt hiszem, hogy ez egy nagyjából standard 3-től 5. You can do more or less. Tehát ezt, ezt mondjuk az ember egyénileg valamelyest azért fel. But remember adott. trigger points, you can do twice a week. Ja? Yeah? Azt kétszer is lehet hetente. Also you should tell the patient that he shouldn't train right after treatment. 
Shouldn't what? Right. Train. Right after treatment. Közvetlenül a kezelés után azt ugye a pácienssel kell kommunikálni, hogy rögtön, mert az van, mert What was the next? Do we have another? No, we felt that we, we just finished with the patients. We finished with the patients now. Okay. Is you it can, okay? Yes. I want to show you one thing. If you like to go fishing, then you can come and visit me. <laughs> yeah? Nice fish, huh? Yeah, yeah nice man as well. <laughs> And I will just I will just show you something that we call evidence-based medicine. Switch off the light, please. Now, one of my favorite TV series is Chairs. I don't know if you've seen Chairs. I want you email it. Yeah. I want you to translate this as much as possible because this is how evidence-based medicine can be misused. You can interpret the medicine, evidence-based medicine as you want to. Just let, read this. Okay. Please translate it as directly as you can. As accurately. I try. I try to do my best. It is called the Buffalo Theory. That's <laughs> a